Hey, welcome back everybody. This is episode two of Why Does My Weave Look Whack? I'll tell you why. So this question came from Christine. Christine asks, why don't my base wires stay nice and straight like yours? They get very bendy when I weave. So this is the comparison that Christine is uh, referring and comparing to how my base wires, which is the, the 20 gauge wire that I use, and this is the weaving wire, 28 gauge wire. Um, my base wires have stayed nice and straight and keeping my weave looking very clean and neat, and hers are getting very bendy, which is also causing her weave to look um, lumpy. Even though you can see that the, the pattern is, is there and um, the bend in the, the base wire is gonna start to cause problems along the way. So this problem mainly probably has to do with pressure and wire tension. So one thing is when you're working with, if you're working with copper wire, copper wire is a very soft and malleable metal. So any imprint, any amount of pressure from your fingers it's gonna take it on very, very quickly. So when we're first, uh, especially when we're first beginning to learn how to wire weave, there is a tendency to death grip the wire. It's like the first time you try driving your car and you're uh, white knuckled on the steering wheel. So a lot of times we're, we're holding on for dear life over here and that wire is taking on every uh, bend from the pressure of our hands. The other thing I mentioned that is probably going on is um, something called wire tension, and that is how tightly you are wrapping your coils around your, your piece. So we don't need to pull <laughs> on this. Um, that'll do a couple of things. That tension itself, if your weaving wire is too tight, it can actually um, start to bend your base wire. I've seen people pull so hard it just caves. I can hardly do it wrong now, but I know that that's what happens. I have witnessed it myself. Um, so with wire tension, you it's it's going to take some some practice. But again, you're going to loosen up your grip first, take out the tension from your hands, and as you're wrapping. There has to be enough tension that the wire is snug around the base wire, um, but not too much tension that it's actually going to bend the base wire. Um, in a way that you know if, if it's um, too tight is I should still be able to go in and squeeze and compress my wires together. If they can still move on the wire when you push them together, um, that's a good thing. If they are not moving, I've tried to compress some people's that were so tight around the base wire, I couldn't even get the single coils to move back together. So that's when you know you need to loosen up your wire tension. The last recommendation that I'll give is when you're taking your wire off the, the spool or the coil, try not to play with it so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. If it's on a spool or it's probably gonna come in a, in a round shape. Keep that roundness. Don't go in and try to automatically like smooth it out unless it really needs it. I tend to just keep the shape that the wire is already in. So you have, you're always kind of working with this uh, rainbow shape. Allow it to, to keep that. Now, sometimes as you go, you need to, to bend and move the wire for it to cooperate, but I try not. I try to, to bend the wire as little as possible. You have to keep in mind that your wire will start to work harden, which means that every um, the more you you bend the wire, that compresses the molecules, and the wire actually starts to harden up. Uh, that's why sometimes we go in with a hammer, and we'll tap the wire to make it harder. So if you're doing something like an earring, 20 gauge wire is really easy to bend. So if I'm making an ear wire, I want it to be a little bit stronger so it, it doesn't bend on the person and 
you know, whatever. <laughs> anyway, so just try to uh, not bend your wire so much. Do is also don't worry so much um, if your weaving pattern looks nice and even if there are some curves in the base wire, if, um, if you go to wrap this like around a bead or something, as you start to shape the wire, it does start to even out. So don't worry so much if you've got bends in those base wires, as long as your uh, weave is looking, is looking ochre, then you'll be fine. I hope this was helpful. Thank you, Christine, for sending me your question. And if any of you guys out there have questions about wire weaving, be sure to send them my way and I'll make a little video on it and um, we'll, we'll, we will, we'll do something. We'll get y'all back on track. <laughs>